I'm here in Consa in North West Durham, a place that was once dominated by the steelworks, providing secure jobs for thousands of people. In 1980, it closed under Margaret Thatcher's government and overnight, 4,500 jobs disappeared. And now our communities face a further threat, years of austerity and wage stagnation. Protections that existed because of trade unions have been slashed under the Tories. Often people have no say over their pay, conditions and the hours they work. I'm here to meet Colin. He's a trade union rep for a major retailer. So why are you a member of a trade union? If my voice is one voice, nobody will hear me. But if there's 10,000 voices, the employer has to listen to us. And what, what does your trade union do? We run various campaigns. We do like a Freedom From Fear in the Workplace campaign. We're also fighting for better pay. We're currently doing a campaign for £10 an hour minimum wage. Trade unions play a vital role in securing increases in pay, annual leave entitlement and rights like parental leave. I have invited along Dawn and Martin to talk about this a little bit more. So Dawn, what issues are people bringing to you in the workplace as a rep? In the, in the climate that we have at the moment, um, I think people's stress levels and the mental health is on the rise constantly. Um, people are worried that they're going to have enough money to pay the bills and not knowing how secure the jobs are. Martin, why be a member of a trade union? Because it gives you the chance to redress the balance of power within the workplace between the management and the employee. So what do you mean by redressing the balance of it power? It gives you the opportunity to disagree with a management decision mm -hmm. and actually influence them to make the right decision by everybody involved. When workers are called in by text only to find out there isn't any work, when women are scared to tell their employers they are pregnant, it shows the balance of power has shifted far too much in the interests of company bosses. People deserve better. That's why a Labour government would introduce a minimum wage of at least £10 per hour, would ban zero hour contracts and we'd make sure that everybody had equal rights from day one. A Labour government would set up a new department to protect the interests of workers and their trade unions, putting them in control of their conditions and pay. Only an economy that puts workers and trade unions at its heart will work for the many and not the few.